Welcome in along with Sam Monson. I'm Steve Palazzolo and powered by PFF Elite, which you can grab for free this Thanksgiving weekend over at ProFootballFocus.com. Here's your Week 12 Buffalo Bills Jacksonville Jaguars game preview. Let's start with the Jaguars. At quarterback, it is Blake Bortles, who currently ranks 24th in PFF grades at 68.9. The Jags are doing everything they can to try to protect Bortles. They ran the ball 41 times with their running backs last week. Bortles is number one in checkdowns in the NFL, and he's only 30th in deep passing percentage, and only 9.5% of his passes have traveled at least 20 yards down the field. The Jags are trying to run a conservative offense, but Bortles has to make a few more throws and up that number 24 ranking if they're going to have success against this Bills defense. Yeah, conservative would be one way of describing it. Bad would be another way of describing it. And the Jags receivers have dropped 31 passes. That's seven more than anybody else in the league. Bortles has a drop rate of 8.1%. That's the highest in the league by a marked distance. Their offensive line as well is struggling. It's given up 135 total pressures. That's the fourth most in the National Football League. They're only averaging 3.5 yards per carry on design runs this season. So the run game's struggling, the pass game is struggling, the offense is struggling. And they're going up against a Bills defense that is very good, perhaps overshadowed by an offense that is struggling mightily. But if you look at the individual players, starting with Jerry Hughes, the number two edge defender in the NFL this year with 50 total pressures and number one in pressure rate, 20.5% of his rushes have resulted in a pressure. And on the other side, Lorenzo Alexander continues to have a late career bloom. He's a top 10 ranked edge defender with a PFF grade of 85.6, the very best grade of his career. And he's fourth in pressure rate among all edge defenders. And on the back end, this Buffalo coverage unit has been extremely good running their zone defense. They run zone on 75.3% of their snaps. That's the second highest in the NFL. And when they do that, they're allowing the third lowest average yards per attempt figure. Tredavious White, their star cornerback, continues to excel in year two. He's second in the NFL in coverage snaps per reception allowed, almost 28 snaps between catches that he gives up. He's also second in yards per coverage snap, under 0.5, which is a crazy number. He is an incredibly difficult player to complete a pass on. Now it's time to discuss that Bills offense and the return of rookie quarterback Josh Allen. As a team, though, the Buffalo passing game is the worst we've seen in five years, a 40.3 PFF grade. Allen has struggled when he's been on the field, but that might be expected from a developmental rookie. He's got aggressiveness that maybe the Jags don't have on their offense, loves to throw the ball down the field. Number three in deep passing rate, 16.5% but dead last in passer rating on those deep passes at 38 and adjusted completion percentage at 30%. We'll see what Josh Allen has coming back off of injury. He'll at least add a little bit of a spark though to that Buffalo offense. Yeah, he should. The big concern though is that only Sam Darnold and Josh Rosen, fellow rookies, have thrown a higher percentage of non-catchable passes this season. A lot of inconsistency with Josh Allen. He does make some spectacular plays, but even the big time throws, those plays he's known for, that spark you're talking about, he needs to hang his hat on those. He ranks 27th in the NFL in big time throw percentage this season, right behind Dak Prescott. It's a part of Allen's game that he excelled at in college, and we'll see if he can pull out those big time throws against Jacksonville this weekend. That's your Jaguars Bills preview, all powered by PFF Elite.